ஹலோ கைஸ் வெல்கம் டு த சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் எவ்ரி திங் யூ நீட் டு நோ அபவுட் பைத்தான் இன் த சிம்பிளஸ்ட் பாசிபிள் வே இன் அவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி ஹாவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் சம் ஆஃப் த பேசிக் டேட்டா டைப்ஸ் சச் எஸ் இன்ட் ஃப்ளோட் ஸ்ட்ரிங் அண்ட் பூலியன் டேட்டா டைப்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் பி சீங் சம் ஆஃப் த அட்வான்ஸ்டு டேட்டா டைப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி ஸ்பீக்கிங் அபவுட் ஆர்டர்டு கலெக்ஷன்ஸ் இன் பைத்தான் வி ஹாவ் வி ஹாவ் த்ரீ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஆர்டர்டு கலெக்ஷன்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இன் அவர் லிஸ்ட் இஸ் லிஸ்ட் லிஸ்ட் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஆர்டர்டு கலெக்ஷன் தட் வி ஹாவ் அண்ட் தட் செகண்ட் ஒன் இஸ் பிபுல் அண்ட் த தேர்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் எஸ்டிஆர் ஸோ திஸ் ஆர் த த்ரீ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஆர்டர்டு கலெக்ஷன்ஸ் தட் வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் இன் சைட் ஆஃப் அவர் பைத்தான் ஸோ டு நோ ஹவு ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஹவு லிஸ்ட் இஸ் ரெப்ரஸன்டட் லிஸ்ட் இஸ் ரெப்ரஸன்டட் வித் இன் like this uh, square braces to know which type of this is which type is this square braces let's use this uh, type method to know what data type this is so i am giving this and i am getting list to store elements in list we will be using this particular square braces we can store any kind of data that we are having either it may be this kind of integers or strings like this we can store any kind of a data in our list so next is uh, tuple to know tuple we will be using type function so we are getting tuple tuple is stored inside of this uh, curly braces so, sorry parenthesis so we will know this type 1 2 3 4 as like we can store uh, any kind of data in list we can store any kind of data in tuple also let us see like and also i am storing something true value which is of boolean and also i am storing of none value and also i am storing of some kind of integer value any kind of data that you can store inside of tuple or list so next in our list is string string is represented in python as str string is uh, denoted with single quotes or double quotes let's try this we am i am passing single quotes in type function and what i will getting i am getting as str let's see how what we will get when we pass double quotes i am getting str again so we can represent string either with single quotes or with double quotes so why these are called ordered ordered collections so to understand this anything if you are coming from any other programming language background you might be having array array is typically stored with when we have elements in our array these are denoted with indexes like zero first element start with index 0 second element start with index 1 like and so on the last elements will be denoted with the number of elements in our array and minus 1 in python we will be having number of elements in our ordered collections minus 1 let assume this length minus 1 this is how we will be storing this particular elements in as uh, indexes so because of that reason these are called ordered collections so to demonstrate this i will be using this particular same list let's say instead of doing that instead of using that i will be using some even numbers here i have this let's say i have my list and in my list i will be having 2 4 6 8 and if i want to access my list i can use this access so by using the name of the variable i am ex- accessing this list so instead i wanted to access a specific element such as 4 so to access 4 what i will be using is 1 and if i wanted to access 2 i will be using 0 because by by this you can understand this in our ordered collection the elements start with index 0 and go up to length of that party how many number of elements in our collection minus 1 let's say i am using 0 1 2 3 when i use 3 i am getting 8 let's say when i am using 4 how many number of elements 1 2 3 4 when i use 4 what i will get i am getting list index out of range which tells that how many in how many elements that i have we cannot access that particular index we can only access minus 
to that particular elements. So that is about the list. In the similar fashion, we will be accessing tuple also. I am having this variable called my tuple. Instead of this, I will be having odd numbers. So this is similar as list only. So we will dive deeper in this list tuple string in our coming videos. Just this introduction video, we will know how these indexes, how this order collection works. I want to access my tuple of index, let's say 2. I want to access element of index 2. So 0, 1, 2. I am getting index element of 5. This is how we can actually access tuple elements. Going further, we will understand how string is called as ordered collection. So to know that we will be having variable called my string. I am denoting this with subscribe. So in my string, I am having subscribe to access. I wanted to access specific elements from this uh, string. To access that, as we can access any elements from the list tuple, we can similarly access these elements by using indexes. Let's say I am accessing index 0. At that case, I am accessing 5. Same things applied in here also. What are all the things that we have seen in, with respect to list and tuple? I wanted to access some index like 8. I am getting E. So because of the reason, last element that I have is E. So this is about the ordered collections we have in Python. In our next video, we will be see, we will be seeing some of the unordered collections. So stay tuned to my channel. If you find this video interesting, click on the like button. Thank you for watching this video.